And that will I seek out, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place, he shall set me upon a rock. But now shall my eyes behold and be lifted up around about my enemies. Then will I offer sacrifices of joy, sacrifices of praise in God's holy temple. You may be seated. So as we have come to gather on this occasion, this great celebration of, of home going for Brother Israel Benedict, this great sadness that we have all come together. We've come together to honor a man, to honor a man that and bless us all as we get ready at this time we want to have the pattern come to you do the body because the realm is gone we are here to celebrate Celebrate him yes. and to give yes. God praise. We certainly do thank God for the past. Thank God for the friends that have come at this time. Man has done it.
that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not walk. He made me to lie down in the green pasture. He leaded me to sign the steel wall. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, the Lord, in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear in the evil, for thou art with me. For thy rod and thy staff may come away. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of thy enemy. Lord, you are not here, Lord. You are not here, Lord. You are not here, Lord. You are not here, Lord.
Because many of you are going to hug them today if you do that and shake their hand and they probably will never see you again. That's when they're going to need that support. So Yolanda and Brother Sylvester, we're praying for you to continue. This too will pass one day. Come on, let's clap. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lady Brown. Thank you. Y'all don't talk. Let's bless the Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
By your family who helped carry you through these difficult days, we hope that caring of others will comfort you too and remind you how special you are to so many. Bishop Curtis and Pastor Vicki Jones Sr., New Life and Spirit of God, With loving thoughts and deep sympathy, the church family of Second Baptist Church. Praying for his healing to soften the sadness during this time of sorrow. Congregation of New Life and Spirit of God.
say for well, long you could wait to come to me. He never, he never did that. He never did that. So in, uh, as far as when it comes to church, as it's already been stated, he loved church. He loved the people of God. He didn't come to church when we had dinners. He didn't come to sit and eat. He came to hell. I remember one time we had a Valentine's dinner. He put on his apron and he served us. And I want to thank God for that. We had activities around the church for the young children. He was there and of course that was Ella. He loved Ella. Ella loved him. And I just want to say thank you all for being here with us. As I talked to him in the different times when I did talk to him, I got to know a little more about him. He was a gentle soul. Even though at times he might have been loud, he was having a good time. We all get loud when we are having a good time. But his spirit was gentle. He was a humble man. He was a respectful man. He was a gentleman. And I remember the times when I first got my car. And I drove up to the church and there was something about the life that I didn't understand. I wasn't afraid to approach him because he's that type of person. You can approach him and he didn't give you like, hurry up, I gotta go about my business. He took the time out to take me out to my car and show me what I needed to know about my life. I remember times uh, just before, uh, Sunday before last, as a matter of fact, he did our tape and he, he taped our service. And after he got done taping our service, him, myself, and Bishop Quinn stood back in the back and we talked. And when we got down and done talking, we prayed. And then, as I always do when I get done talking to him, I like to see that smile. He just light up everything from like a smile from here to here. You have a wide smile. So I said something to him to make him smile. So I don't want to take up too much time there. The things that I can say about him that I know that you already know. And I want to say that he holds all, he's dear to me. He's very dear to my soul, to my heart. And I just want you all to know that when the green come up on you like it will, you're going to shed some more tears. You're going to be a heavier man. When that come up on you, go to your heart and pick that special something out that the real is in your heart. And go on about the day as I know what we want you to do. So we'll continue to pray with you. And I want the family to know that I love you. We love you. That's why we're here. So, so just be encouraged.
never thought that the day would come so soon. But this is not our father. To you as a father, and a friend, and most importantly, I like your love. People call me Big T, T Rex, Paul Smith. One person in particular, um, come along right 
the same now. Now. They just got a son. Pastor Doug, come on and bless us. Now, now y'all be careful because you know how to get this up to share that real quick. Say it now, Pastor Doug.
Thus, that you will hear after these two lovely young ladies will be that of a man and who was anointed chosen and appointed by God. Yeah. 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 A man who yeah. actually yeah. believes yeah. what he preaches yeah. yeah. and, and lives, lives it among the people. The people. I remember the first time I heard him preach, I invited him to the church I was pastoring at that time. And he asked me how long should he preach. And I said, just let the Lord use you. And for the last 45 minutes, he was ill with me. God used him in a mighty way. I see him come out of himself and the Holy Spirit coming into him. His whole posture changed. His whole face and everything about him changed when he gets ready to preach because strength is gone and the Holy Ghost is gone. I'm proud to call him a wonderful man of God. A good father, a prosperous father, and a man of the old man. He will preach to the new and after each children are saying in the next portion we hear of the new pastor and my nephew, which is your friend, man, pastor and father, the Christian ministers of the Apostolic Church. Say amen.
to do it. I want you to turn with me. Just what is this scripture The book of First Timothy
God, God wants you to, to live, live for them. Right. That's, That's why the Bible says God so loved the world that, that he, he gave, gave his only begotten son that, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, perish, perish is his death. death. But, but have everlasting life. God, God doesn't want you to die. God, God wants you to live again. God, God wants you to live again. And if, and if we are real with ourselves, and I want to speak to your cerebral right now, that, 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 that people, people die every minute, every, 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 every hour, every second. If, if we, we are real with ourselves, you're dying right now. You're, you're going, going back, back to death. death. All you got to do is just look in the mirror. 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 Just look in the Yeah. 
that, that when there is death, there's also life. When there is death, there is also life. Through death. He 